review video. Well, I've done a couple of review esque videos on this channel, so I thought, why not do another one? Yeah. <laughs> if you guys don't know, I started doing YouTube in around 2015, and on that year, I was basically doing everything on a HP Star Wars Edition laptop. Okay, this guy was was the powerhouse apart from the iPhone 6. Well, the iPhone 6 did the editing and the uploading, but most of the games right here. Uh, this guy, I mean, like design-wise, it's pretty dope. If you're a Star Wars fan, hmm. although there's a little bit of flex on the screen, like it's it's plastic, but it's it's not even the good one, but it does the job. Got a backlit keyboard, only one color though, not RGB, red color. Cool looking trackpad, but not my favorite. I mean, like the texture is so, mm, I don't like it. It has an 8GB RAM, an Intel i5, and, uh, and here's the problem, an NVIDIA GeForce 940M. Ah, <laughs> it's got like a terabyte of storage. Uh, it's pretty cool. But as for a gaming laptop, even for a gaming laptop, which this was how this thing was sold, it was under the gaming laptop category. But it's it's just it's not it's not good enough. But as the years went by, the laptop became even worse, and I'm afraid this year I had to get a new one. So that's what I did. And after a lot of surveying and searching on the internet. I finally found the perfect laptop, found the perfect laptop for me that was good price-wise and also specs. It, it just it just worked, okay? That was kind of a perfect balance, okay? So after countless of days and problems and struggles, I finally managed to get one. And it's Lenovo Legion 5i. And boy was it so hard to get this. Just saying. <laughs> Oh, uh, Lenovo didn't make it easy at all for me. <laughs> I mean, the unboxing experience is pretty basic. I mean, you got your laptop, and when you open the extra compartment, you get your extra accessories, like your, uh, like the 170 watt power adapter. Pretty sick. I mean, 170 watts, geez, this maybe got a lot of power. And you got your, you know, power plug. Basic stuff, paperwork, warranty, and of course, for the main event, the freaking laptop itself there you go the lenovo legion 5i not gonna lie really love the design i love how industrial and geometric it's, it's got sharp edges i like that and also it's got a nice booty look at that little geometric what but i like it design wise i'm gonna give it like a freaking nine out of ten maybe because the lenovo legion 5i in its lineup, it's kind of mid-ranged, so it's it's plastic, but it's good plastic. And it doesn't have any cool RGB lights, although I heard the previous model had like some lights on the top. Well, this one doesn't have, have any minimalistic, you know, just like that, and that's it. All right, okay. Port-wise, it comes with a USB 3.2 jack over here, a headphone jack, another 3.2 over here, and where most of the ports are, the back. Look at that, pretty dope. It's got the LAN cable, the USB Type-C. This is something that I really wanted from a laptop, a Type-C port. Very rarely you can get Type-C ports on laptops. I mean, you can get it in MacBooks. Certain laptops have it, but most of them are really expensive, like in the 8,000 range categories. Good to see that this one has a Type-C port. Two more, it had two more 3.2 ports. It has an HDMI cable, of course, the power adapter, and I have no idea what this is. Oh, this is just a locking mechanism. So it's got a big old fan in the bottom where it sucks air in and it shoots it out to the back as well. Two over here and two on the sides. The speakers is actually also on the side, but on the bottom, right over here. So yeah, that is, Basically how the Lenovo Legion 5 looks on the outside. Now let's look at it on the inside. I'm not sure if you can see it, but yeah. Can you guys see it? 
I don't know. Well, there you go. Simple, easy, and best keyboard ever. Not gonna lie, it's even, I might even say it's better than the MacBook. Just saying. Trackpad, love it. It, it kind of feels like a MacBook, although it's plastic and it's, you know, it's clicky. It's not like a single sheet of thing. My only other complaint about this is the fact that the screen is pretty flexy. So if you gotta really protect it, okay? Because it's, it's gonna break. So yeah. So when you open the laptop, you're greeted with this cool RGB lighting that you can kind of customize it, but you can basically, you can basically set three presets and it, it's not much, but still, it's good. It, there's something, you can sort of do this effect left to right, and then there's the breathing effect, and then you can set it a single color. Okay, this, and it's got a 720p HD camera. I mean, yeah, it's 720p, but it does the job. Video conference, calling, video calls. It does well, love it. Yeah, and... It's got a 144Hz, 15.6 Full HD display. Pretty good. So this guy comes with a 16GB RAM, a GTX 1650Ti graphics card, a 1TB storage with a, a 256GB SSD. Pretty decent. Of course, a Wi Fi, Intel Wi Fi 6. Pretty sick. And all of this comes up to around 4.5K. It actually was selling for around 5.2k back in February and uh, it was a discount and I got it for around 4.5k yeah so yeah pretty decent for what it's got okay I'm not sure how this could justify the speaker right I told you the two in the bottom well, this is how it sounds this is, uh, I'm playing the latest MKPHD uh, video pretty sick 4K, 60 frames per second. Lovely job, Blake. Hey, what's up? I'm TBHD here. Welcome back to <laughs> Yeah, have speakers. I don't, I'm, I'm not complaining. I'm using the headphone jack most of the time. So take a step back it is what it is. And another cool thing this thing has is this thing called Lenovo Edge, where basically it adjusts the thermals of the device in a single click. Now, I usually play uh, Valorant, Apex Legend, Battlefront 2. Some cheeky little Minecraft. Do check out those videos. I I posted some already, so go check that out. Yeah, I mean, gaming wise, it's very stable, very decent. 60 frames per second. I'm usually getting 60 frames per second all the time. But yeah, as an average consumer, you can basically play this anything above mid settings, from mid to high. Ultra depends. But yeah, you can game pretty well on this thing. So yeah, that's the Lenovo. Legion 5i. Well, all the good stuff from Lenovo Legion 5i. Now let's go to the bad stuff. <laughs> okay, when I first had, uh, when I first booted up, when I first booted up this laptop, I noticed that there was a weird green pixel on the top. I'm not sure if I have any pictures anymore because I already fixed it. But yeah, I, when I opened it and I saw it, I was like, oh shit. Is a single faulty pixel on the top and it was so annoying considering all the problems I faced trying to get this laptop or well in actual fact I wasn't even getting this laptop so initially I ordered a Lenovo IdeaPad Gaming 3 way back in February like first week of February I think February 6th 9th something like that so initially I ordered it I mean, it was pretty decent. I mean, it was customizable. The base price was around, well, the base price, according to you, it's still 2.7K around that price. And it starts with an AMD Ryzen 5, 4000 series, uh, a full HD 15.6 inch display, 60 hertz display, though you can bump it up to around 90 hertz, or is it 120 hertz? You can bump it up to 120 hertz, sorry, 120 hertz. Uh, it comes with an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650. Uh, it starts with 8 GB RAM, but you can upgrade it to around 16 gigs. And after all my customizations and stuff, it came to around 3.2K, which is an absolute steal, considering that it's very close to the Legion 5i that I got. So I thought that, I was like, okay, what's the catch? Well, <laughs> 
I was about to find out. You buy a laptop, it, it'll usually stay. Okay, it'll come around four to five weeks, within four to five weeks. And I, I asked the customer service and they were like, yeah, so if you order it now, you can get it within four to five weeks. Splendid, lovely, jubbly. Well, a week later, it took a week before the track, the tracking ID came. It came. And when I saw it, I was shocked. I ordered it in February the 6th or 9th, first week of February. And the tracking that they sent said that my device would only come on the 9th of April. Yeah. I'm just saying, this guy was on the verge of dying. <laughs> that was fuming. I was like going back and forth trying to expedite the order. They said, okay, maybe they can do it. After a couple of weeks of going back and forth with Lenovo, uh, eventually they just, they just said, well, due to COVID reasons, there's not enough parts. Because mine, the one that I ordered was the customizable one, so most of the parts are not there. In the end, they recommended me to try the quick ship option, uh, try to change my laptop, basically. I can get another, cancel this order and get another one. I choose the quick ship laptops, which would which according to their site said would come within three to six business days. Even when I ordered this, it didn't come within six, three to six, it, it came way later. To be fair, the, the laptop shipped to the country of my, or to where I was within two days, but it took an extra seven days just for the customs clearance. I mean, I, wh why did it take so long? The shit. <laughs> After all of that commotion and crap, this guy finally came. And even when it came, it came with a faulty pixel. So a week later, Lenovo sent a guy to my house to replace the panel, which was pretty cool. He came, he just switched it within less than 30 minutes. Everything's lovely jubbly. Right now, as you can see, it's April 2nd, which means if I kept the other order, I still wouldn't have gotten a laptop yet. So thankfully, I managed to change it and get this guy. In fact, do I recommend you getting a Lenovo laptop? The laptop is an 8 out of 10, 9 out of 10 in fact. But the service that you have to go through, yeah, that, that I'm giving service a 1 out of 10. Just say I mean, the, the, the guys in the customer service, they were very nice, they were helpful, but just, Ah, otherwise, the Lenovo Legion 5i, it's, it's a great laptop. If you want one, if you're willing to spend around 4, four to 5k, this is your guy. So yeah, that is the Lenovo Legion 5i. Pretty sick laptop. Love, love it. And this is gonna be the guy who's gonna be helping me out for maybe the next five years. So every YouTube video that you're gonna see, this guy right here <laughs> and the iPad Pro and the iPhone 11 Pro that's recording right now and the PS5 depends if I do PS5 content I haven't played with this guy in so long <laughs> so yeah that is what I think about the Lenovo Legion 5i and Lenovo in general so yeah do leave a like if you enjoy this kind of videos I enjoy doing this sort of tech review s kind of videos kind of fun. I mean, I love watching MKPHD, Unbox Therapy, and all those guys. It's cool to kind of try and follow in their footsteps and shit, but I'm, obviously I'm not as great as them, but you gotta start somewhere. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, do leave a like, of course, and watch all my other videos. I do a lot of gaming videos, there is some tech videos. Do check it out, share it. But most important, subscribe. Please, I'm trying to get to a thousand fast as possible because I need to be monetized. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.